and welcome back to my channel. So, I have decided to participate in a readathon the week before the journey to Atlantis readathon. So, I might be a little crazy because the week, obviously, I'm hosting the Atlantis readathon, and the week before a readathon is always kind of hectic with prep and like working out sprint schedules and just all kinds of stuff. But I really wanted to participate in this one. So it is the Romance-a-thon. It is taking place June 17th through 23rd. Um, I will leave the co-hosts linked down below so you can go check out their channels. Um, but yeah, if you guys know me at all, you know I love some quick romance reads. And I figured I would share my TBR with you guys. It might change because I am such a mood reader that usually anytime I do a TBR for a readathon, I end up changing my mind, especially for romance because it. I usually end up like going through my Libby app and just kind of like seeing what mood I'm in and like picking one and reading. So that's usually how I like find out about my romances and read them. So yeah, but they have uh, seven challenges for the readathon and a buddy read. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the buddy read, I actually don't think I'm going to read, but I wanted to mention it to you guys because that way you know that it exists and you can go read it if you haven't already decided to participate. It is On the Island by Tracy Graves. From my understanding, it contains a forbidden romance, which is another one of the challenges. Um, and it's about two people who are shipwrecked on an island and it's a student and a tutor and romance happens. I feel like that's not a spoiler because obviously all of these books will have romance. Um, so like I said, I don't think I'm going to read that one because I have so many other ones that are kind of on my radar, but it exists. It's there. Um, the next one is pink on the cover. So this one I actually like borrowed from the library already because I was like, I am reading it. Um, it is the One Good Earl Deserves a Lover by Sarah McLean. It is the second book in the Rules for Scoundrels series. I think it might just be a trilogy. Um, but yeah, I read the first one a couple weeks ago. So now I will read the second and the title of the book is in pink. So it fits. I also have a few others that have pink on the cover. So yeah, we will get this one covered. The next one is a new adult romance. So I'm pretty sure this one fits. Um, it is Shadow and Ice by Gina Showwater. I actually started this a couple weeks ago, but I'm such a mood reader, like I said, that I didn't finish it. And I didn't necessarily like DNF it. I just decided to pick up something else. So I think I'm going to give this a try. Um, there's also a book series. The series is called Thunder Road. Um, and it's about a motorcycle gang. Uh, and I read the first one and I need to read the second one and that's new adult. So like that could count. This, this one is about gods who are at war with each other and they come to earth and there's a god and a woman and they're probably going to get together because it's a romance. <laughs> the next one is an LGBT romance and I am going to read one that has been on my TBR since literally 2016. It is A Fire and Stars by Audrey Callhurst. Obviously, I haven't read it yet. I got it in an owl crate way back in 2016 and I am finally going to attempt to get to it. So from my understanding, it's about a girl who's supposed to marry a prince, but instead of falling in love with the prince, she falls in love with the princess. I think it's going to be wonderful. Um, I've heard really good things and it has royalty and it's in a fantasy world. So it's right up my alley because it also has romance and those are my favorite things. So we're reading this. So the next one is a forbidden romance and I feel like a few different books here that I have will fit. Um, in fact, I know the Sarah McLean one will. I feel like Shadow and Ice kind of does. I'm not sure about A Fire and Stars, but specifically for this prompt, I'm going to count the Dazzling Heights. So this is the second book in um, the Thousandth Floor trilogy, and I just read the first one. So the first one is the Saved by the Books June group read. So if you are not already listening to my podcast, it's linked down below. We read The Thousandth Floor for June. Um, I just finished it last week, and we are going to have a podcast episode for it up later this month. 
but that means I can read the second one. Um, and the first one had a little bit of a forbidden romance in it, but it didn't dive into it. So I'm hoping the second one will it better because that's what I wanted more of in the first book. But anyway, that's what we're doing for this one. The next one is a man on the cover. And surprisingly, all of the romance books that I own have women on the cover. Unless I've, like, except for a couple that I've already read. Which just blew my mind. Because obviously when you think of romance books, you think of, like, the stereotypical, like, muscly man on the cover. I don't know. Obviously, Shadow and Ice has a man on the cover. Um, so, I mean, like, that would fit there. But my friend Becky pointed out that, that No Judgments by Meg Cabot has a man on the cover. Um, so, it's not the stereotypical, like, man on the cover. But I'm going to count it. Uh, and I really want to read it. It comes out in September. I picked this up at BookCon. And, yeah, I've been wanting to read it, like, this summer. Because I feel like it would be, like, a really good summary read. So... It's going on the list. The next one is a 2019 romance. Obviously a bunch of these fit, uh, but I'm going to specifically count Brazen and the Beast by Sarah McLean. This is the second book in the, I don't remember what the first one was called. It's a second book in a series. I read the first one a couple weeks ago. Now it's time for me to read this one. It comes out in August. I picked this up at BookCon and I'm super excited to dive into it. So it was the perfect time. So that's what we're doing. And then the last challenge is to read seven romances. So I have Diplomatic Immunity by Brody Ashton. This is about a girl who gets a scholarship to an exclusive academy in Washington and she falls in love with the son of the Spanish ambassador. So I am here for that and I'm excited about it. So, so yeah, that is it for my TBR. Obviously this is six books because one of them is on my Kindle. Um, but yeah, like I said, my TBR might change, especially because so many of these cross over into the YA genre. Um, and I might honestly just decide to read romances on my Kindle all week long. And if I do, I will definitely make sure that I am hitting all of the challenges. But for now, these are the ones on my radar. So comment down below. Let me know if you want me to vlog for this week while I am doing the romance-a-thon. Um, and let me know if you are participating, what books you're reading, because I'm always looking for new romance authors. Um, I'm trying to think of some of my favorites right now, but I am completely blanking. But yeah. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. I put up videos twice a week. They're usually planner or book related. So if you like either of those, you will like this channel. And I will see you guys really, really soon with another video. Bye!